Hey, didn't see you there. Have you been noticing what's happening? People have been making all these RuneScape series about special accounts. Oh, you haven't heard? Well, take a look. Meet Swampletics. My name is Byrelease. The collection log. This is my boss locked account. Welcome to Deserted. Cannot leave PvP world. My extreme plus one chunk series. So welcome back to Iron Man. Episode of the duo group Iron Man. Back to Iron Completionist. Welcome back to In Depth Repair. My ultimate Iron Man series. On the last time of this shit. Anyways, you get the idea. So let's attempt the impossible. To forge a new way amongst those already walked and weave an unforgettable journey together. Hi, my name's Purple Hats. Wait, can we get a close up? Nice. And I'm on a quest to become Old School's number one content creator by making a series about anything and everything. So, welcome to Noobscape. Wow, congrats on making it past the intro. It takes a big person to do that. A real smart and handsome young feller. Good to have you for the second intro. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, I, it takes explaining words. Yeah, <laughs> you get the idea. Well, you've stumbled upon the soon to be critically acclaimed series Noobscape. Walk with me. Now, the conceit of the series lies in the fact that I am very new to RuneScape. I mean, I only started playing earlier this year. There's a lot to learn, and as this series goes on, we'll be doing it all. The goal really is to do everything and anything in old school RuneScape, and we'll figure out more and more what that looks like in the coming months. There is a catch, at least starting out. To be able to execute a lot of these ideas I have, I need funds, cold hard Gillinor coins, and an account to use them. But the account I've been playing, oh my god, have I really played the account that much? Is an Iron Man. Actually, it's a group Iron Man. Meet my teammates. We have Oryx, who's famously known for dying to rats, and Lightglaive, who's famously known for being a gamer dad. That's not a bad thing, I just, I, I don't really have much to say. We've had some good times. If you want to learn more about that account, go check out the pilot episode. Link's in the description below. I think you'll enjoy it. So, with no main account, limited RuneScape experience, and a pocket full of ideas, I hatched a grand plan. Now here is where the planets aligned themselves to Syzygy and the forces of fate delivered onto me a great destiny. You see, I'm a big fan of Solo Mission, and after watching all of his Dead Man tournaments and Leagues videos, I was always thinking, how would it feel to be rank 1 day 1? Yes, with Fresh Start Worlds coming out, I went into the lab and concocted a certified gamer strategy to kickstart my account into Overdrive and dominate the supposed new player worlds. Welcome again to the first arc of Noobscape, where we'll be creating a stacked main account through the Fresh Start Worlds, aiming for utter market domination of high-end boss loot and having a freaking blast while we do it. Here's the plan. Oh my god, that looks terrible. Okay, l let's do it like this. To unlock our account's potential quickly, we're going to work on four key goals. Train our combat stats, achieve 43 prayer, acquire money, and farm gear. But what matters is how we're going to do all of these things. I mean, we're trying to be efficient here. Well, the best way to get combat experience early on is through questing, specifically by completing the following quests, which, if you complete at level 1 attack strength and defense, gets you to 44, 38, and 38. But some of these quests have skill requirements and quest prerequisites. Not to mention the fact you need to be able to kill things while having no combat stats. To solve the first problem, we just have to sit down and route our movements across Gillinor efficiently, like a speedrunner or something. And to solve the second, we're gonna need two things. Magic and safe spots. Due to the way that magic works, it's generally a lot more accurate on some monsters. 
So with a relatively low level, we can still hit very hard and kill things quite quickly. Safe spots are basically just a way of hitting a monster while it can't hit you, and that'll alleviate our need for having higher HP or any gear. That sorts out the first key. The next follows quite easily. Once we have our combat experience, all we have to do is buy a rune sword and go kill green dragons. Due to the increased XP rates and a 50% chance to save bones at the Chaos Altar in the Wilderness, by my calculations we'll only need around 80 dragon bones to get 43 prayer, accounting for the prayer XP we've gotten from quests. Then we have the third and fourth keys. I'll leave the third a mystery for now, to sow some suspense. All will be revealed in time. Be patient. And of course, the fourth is our dream gear. A long ways off, but we'll get there. So, putting everything together, here's our plan. Looks pretty sick, right? Well, that's enough talk. It's time to enact our strategy and game our frickin' hearts out. See you on the other side. We should be alive. I'm so tired. Getting a little bit of sleep was nice though. Okay, select fresh start worlds. Confirm fresh start worlds. Oh my god, oh my god, it's happening. Why why is my screen black? Please. Oh my god, what the fuck? Um... Oh my god, I'm panicking. Wait, no, 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 I need to buy stuff. Buy hammer? Um... Ah, I'm panicking, I'm panicking! I need a spade. Is this... No, you can't do this to me. Okay, well shit. That's not good. Oh my god, I didn't realize there'd be so many people. Holy shit, dude, there's a lot of people. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh no, 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 I fucked up already. I fucked up already. Oh my god, everything's gone. Everything's gone. Dude, my plan is fucked. My plan is so fucked. No, why did it have to start so poorly? Dude, I need that spade. Like, I literally need that spade so bad. My entire plan revolved around the spade. Okay, we had a rocky start, but we're recovering. Oh my god, it's, oh, I thought that was solo mission. <laughs> uh, I thought it was solo mission. She told me that I talk nonsense. She said I never boost her confidence. Dude, if this guy runs in right now and takes my cheese spawn, I'm actually gonna beat him to death. Okay, so after I didn't get the spade, I was getting a little aggressive. Apparently, I'm a bit irritable with two hours of sleep. But we had a plan to execute, so I improvised the best I could. After furiously typing spade into the runescape wiki, I found out that there's a spawn in Drainer Manor. So I took a detour, slurped it up, and utilized the few teleports I have right now to get myself to Barbarian Village. Thanks, random vampire man. We got the stronghold 10k, but we lost a good man along the way. Rest in peace, buddy. So we took our blood money and immediately invested it into runes, so that we could train to 13 magic and get started on the key quests. But we're all about efficiency here, at least during the early game. So along the way we grabbed a bunch of quest items and progressed some other quests that we'll need for later. Now, originally I planned to train up to 13 magic on Zamorak warriors, since they're very weak to magic and have a chance of dropping a rune scimitar, which would be my best in slot melee weapon for early game. But then I realized I was going to have to buy a rune sword to kill dragons anyways, so I opted to save some time traveling there and just kill Varrock guards instead. With 13 magic, we were ready to complete some of our big boy combat XP quests. Well, at least try to. Oh my god, and he just walks up and bobs me. Wow. No.
L'MFA, this guy up. I got him? I got him. Dude, that was fucking clutch. Take those, take those, take those. Fuck out of here, take his bones too. Holy shit. Holy shit, how did we do that? <laughs> Holy shit. Unfortunately, our victory wouldn't exactly last long. Might kill me. <laughs> Brother! What the hell? We try our best. Kinda. Anyways, we end up finishing Trinum Village and go on to complete Plague City, Sheep Herder, Gertrude's Cat, Romeo and Juliet, Cook's Assistant, the RFD Intro Quest. Alright, we saved Mr. Ghostman. Oh my god. Oh my god. Goodbye. <laughs> Mung's Friend and Hazil's Cult. Then we blast out Fight Arena and Waterfall. Oh, they just keep coming! Ooh. Gaming. Sorry, I got a little excited. At this point, we were around five hours in and my mental state had deteriorated quite a bit. Wait, I can fight the rat. No, come back. Come back, rat. Yes, I'm a fucking god, okay? You thought I was a, a little drongo? I'm not. Look, I was barely coherent. I, just get, just dude, move on with the, the quest. We start Merlin's Crystal, and along the way finish up Witch's House, Rune Mysteries, Biohazard, and finally, Free Merlin. We follow up with Pirate's Treasure, Knight's Sword, and Druidic Ritual since they're so close together, before moving on to Holy Grail. During Holy Grail, we have to defeat the Black Knight Titan, and because of his very high magic and range defense, we should probably use melee. But, we only have one defense, so we can't exactly tank him. This is where we employ flinching. Flinching is where you move out of a mob's attack range after you hit it, so that you ensure you always get your hit off and that it never hits you. Usually you have to wait a while between attacks to properly flinch something, but this guy can only attack the tile directly in front of him, so you can attack as fast as you normally would without getting hit. Shout out to Zazed for figuring this out on his boss locked account. Go give him some love. His videos are freaking awesome. Oh my god, I just got the fucking pet. What the hell? And the weapon poison in one drop. What the fuck just actually just happened? He gets the Purple Hat's patented seal of approval. <laughs> nice. Later on during Holy Grail, we need to visit the Goblin Village, so we complete Goblin Diplomacy at the same time. Afterwards, we finally skill for a bit, training to 30 fire making for Sea Slug and getting 10 fletching for Taurus Trap. Looking back, I think this is where I really put the noob in noobscape, since I probably should have just started with this skilling and then rushed to complete Night Sword to then finish Taurus Trap way earlier, since I was walking around so much on day one and the early agility levels would have been invaluable for the extra run energy regen. We'll do better next time. We'll really try to do better next time. <sighs> Fucking wolf. Oh yeah, and this thing happened. I don't know how long you have to wait, so... <laughs> what? Did he just PJ me? I, excuse me? What, what just happened? He just stole my kill. <laughs> Why? Like, what the fuck? How'd he steal it from me? Frick you, dude. Nice. Also, I wasn't trying to hide this, but I was also doing the easy arty diary while we were questing, since it rewards us with a cloak that has an infinite teleport to the arty monastery, which is close to a spirit tree, a fairy ring, and arty itself. Super good early game teleport unlock. A red cape did as well, and we put it to rest here. We are now an arty cloak one where... Beautiful. Oh, and I forgot to hand this in. There we go. At this point, all we have left to complete for our early game quests are Grand Tree and Dragon Slayer 1. I ended up going for Grand Tree first, but lest we forget, this is Noobscape, so... I'm about to die. Well done, Purple! Well done! You're really good. You're really good, Purple. Wow, incredible.
What? <laughs> to add insult to injury, I thought this was Torvesta at the time, and was deeply embarrassed. But it turns out it was just a random dude. Anyways, we got the quest done! Yay! I'd like to say we went on to then dunk Dragon Slayer 1, but we didn't. At this point, I'd reached the end of the notepad I had filled with step-by-step -step instructions and officially had to wing it. I was very sleep deprived, and after streaming for 11 hours, I kind of started to panic. I needed 33 magic, and after spending 20 minutes killing a dragon for a quest which gives magic XP, I realized I would need 40 mining as well, which I was not close to. I ended up just doing my current slayer task with magic, which was a good recovery, but I quickly fumbled again. At the time, my best in slot for Elvarg was gonna be Excalibur, and I assumed this wasn't gonna cut it. Since I would need a rune sword for killing dragons anyways for our next goal of 43 prayer, I figured I might as well just get one now and kill two dragons with one sword. Just one small problem. I was completely broke. After struggling for a while to think of something, I decided to go and try the agility pyramid. At 34 agility. Yeah, that didn't go well. I was unable to complete it a single time in 30 minutes. I didn't even get close. At this point, I'd wasted well over an hour on dead ends, and did what all desperate souls do. Convinced myself I could kill Elvarg anyways. Yeah, we didn't get it. Wow, who could have guessed? And I forgot to open the secret passage back, so I had to rebuild the boat as well. Ugh. Now, for some reason, I didn't want to flinch Elvarg, even though I literally had just done it for the Black Knight Titan. Freaking stupid pride or something. Maybe I really am a Drongo. Anyways, I went back in there, and I flinched Elvarg for a total of... three minutes. Yeah, for some reason, my damage from the previous fight stayed. We take those. And that was the end of my day one. 16 plus hours played, and I'm proud to say. Whoa, 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 whoa. You really thought I'd end the video there? Fresh Start Worlds have already been out for like a week or something. Come on, we got more stuff to do. Fuck the shit I'm out. We have the stats. It's uh it's time we go kill some green dragons. Dude, I need better gear. Alright. We finally have some better equipment. It's time to take on dragons again.
Okay, you know what? I I'm I can't believe what just happened. I just handed in three RFD subquests at once, and I did a stupid thing where I recorded myself talking about each one, and then I just didn't record it, and then my girlfriend laughed at me. So that's this is the clip you get instead. I'm gonna go do the last one now. I am a master of mine. Well, I think that's a good place to end the first episode of Noobscape. It feels really good finally getting this out. After spending around three months on the pilot, go check that out by the way, links in the description below, and trying to figure out where to start the series, I feel like I'm finally starting to get a handle on things. Big gains with a Z, coming next episode, which should be soonish. TM. If you liked what you saw here, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'm not really sure what it does for me, but I'm assured it's good things. Also, you can support me on Patreon. It's a pledge whatever you want model, starting at $1 Canadian. This is currently the most direct way you can support me, as I receive around 95% of the Patreon pledge money. Oh, right. I also stream on Twitch at Twitch TV. Oh, fuck. Twitch.tv forward slash purple hats. The schedule is a bit undefined currently since I'm trying to figure out the best way to do things, but we'll nail this down eventually. And yeah, that's about it. We'll catch up to where I'm at right now in the Fresh Start servers by next video, for sure. And I guess I'll see you then. Goodbye, goodbye, love you, goodbye. I love you, goodbye, see you next time. Bye, bye.